That's right. <laughs> and you must know that. It does not come from government. It does not come from some man. It comes from the Creator. That is the gift from the Creator. just one of them just happens to be written down to be protected and insured the right of the people to keep and bear arms is not endowed nor removable by any governing body fully understanding the technological advancements capable as witnessed in their time having defeated the powerful tyrannical British Empire. The acknowledgement of the perpetually existing right to take up and bear modern arms was penned as the Second Amendment within the Bill of Rights by those who founded this nation. The people have patiently endured the long train of abuses and usurpations of this natural right. We now peacefully declare objection to the past, present, and future infringements and usurpations of this natural law as a God-given right by setting forth here an immovable position held by those signed. We will not recognize nor concede to any ordinance, statute, act, bill, rule, or law further molesting and harassing those exercising the fundamental and inalienable right of firearms ownership. Do you understand what he says? Do you understand? Furthermore, we shall grant no respect or honor any law discriminating against firearms by make, model, function, operation, mechanism, or design, nor acknowledge the legislative criminalization of those possessing firearms deemed illegal by government. Being that the very natural inalienable right to bear modern firearms exists outside of the dominion of government, and where it is not governments to bestow, nor to remove, prohibit, disallow, or suppress this natural liberty. We the people hereby state that we shall never allow the confiscation, nor willfully surrender or turn over firearms regardless of such demand put forth by any legislative body or government. This is our position. Any violent incursion or aggressive force exercised by government bent on molesting the people, persecuting or tormenting citizens in possession of firearms will be met with adequate response. Be regarded as an assault against the laws of nature and of nature's God, as well as insult against the very fundamental liberties of which this nation was founded. The far left has been met with the shams when they have finally become honest during the recent elections and debates. Regards. Okay. Let's see here. What else have we got that we can play out there for the public to hear? Uh, Justice Scalia's opinion in Heller. That's the case that defines the right to keep their arms as a personal, individual, pre-political right, not as some collective right. Pre-political, a secular... 
particular phrase for natural because it is the right to self-defense. Justice Scalia actually defines it and says it is the right to own, carry, and use a weapon of the same technological proficiency as those owned by the bad guys and government officials. Now that is Supreme Court. Alright? Now why do we got cops that are fucking drawing their guns down on people that are lawfully... It may not be legal. Who gives a flying fuck? It's lawful. And it is our natural right to do so. Pulling their guns out on people that have weapons. Have some kind of fucking something. Oh, they're scared. They're so fucking... Yeah, you know why they're scared? Because they continue to violate people's civil rights of all people. Thinking that they are our masters. They bring it upon themselves. They are our servants. And they're trying to act like that they are the fucking masters and we're the servants. A well regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, sure, you need an organized military force to defend your country, but the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is the people in contrast with the militia. It doesn't say the right of the militia to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It says the right of the people. Now, why the word people? Because the people who wrote this had just fought a war for two years against a tyrannical state militia. They knew the time might come when they'd have to do that again. So they made the possession of weapons a right that the militia could never take away. Now, gun control advocates say the phrase is clumsy, and the comma separating the state from the people is just a pause to get your breath. <laughs> Strange, they can't seem to point out any other places where those hack framers fucked up the wording. And, um, yeah. I mean, quite honestly. So what does the Second Amendment actually say? A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of the free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's it. Not a lot of words, just very specific ones. Wingnut Radio for Anarchy TV. Back out.